I'm coming to you from my mom's bathroom. She asked me to make her a hand soap dispenser, so I used her shower curtain as inspiration for this. This is all vinyl. This is 90% vinyl, so it's a little bit different than the last one I did where it was all glitter, except for up here is a little bit of glitter. But if you're interested to see how I did this, stick around and I'm gonna go ahead and get started. All right guys, so here is a uh, plastic soap dispenser, which I purchased, I have no idea where, but I am repurposing this. We used all the soap in it. I decided I really liked the shape of the bottle and the size of the bottle, so I am going to start by, I spray painted this, I, well I peeled the label, I spray painted the top and the bottom uh, matte black. I am now putting a full vinyl wrap on it up until the point where it curves. I'm using a black holographic by Starcraft. And so I'm getting it to line up as best as I can. I am gonna top the bottom, line the top and the bottom with vinyl. So if it's off a little bit, you're not gonna notice it. I'm gonna peel back my paper and I'm gonna rub this down with my fingers. I do it with my fingers. Some other people um, do it with like a squeegee. I find I have better control with my fingers and I can feel if there are any lumps because you can pull the vinyl back and smooth out any air pockets in there uh, before they get to be too big where you couldn't do that and you've, you've sealed your wrap. So I'm just using my finger until I bring it all the way around and I'm gonna flatten that down. And so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the center part, which is also vinyl. It is a white marble vinyl it well actually it's not even i guess it's vinyl it's um actually shelf paper that i purchased at walmart it's duct brand it's a very thin vinyl that i cut on the paper setting because the backing is very very thin and so i find if i do like the regular vinyl setting that it cuts all the way through it so i'm going to do the same thing i did with the black holographic is i'm going to line it up and I'm gonna make sure that, I'm gonna make sure that this is, you know, as perfect as possible as well. Um, I am gonna outline this um, also, but you know, you wanna get it close. So I'm doing the same thing. I am taking the paper and rubbing my finger and just pulling the paper off, keeping the paper on as long as I can and just getting it all pressed down, making sure there's no air bubbles and getting it all the way to the end. The next step is I'm going to put gold pinstriping around the top and the bottom of the marble vinyl. We'll call it vinyl for all intents and purposes. And so I am, I'm going to stop because I see that I have too much overlap with the um, marble vinyl. So I'm going to trim it off with my craft knife. I'm not going to go exactly at the seam because I've never been really good at that and I wind up cutting too little or too much. So I'm just gonna cut above and just have a slight overlap. That works for me, you do what works for you. So now it is ready to go in with my gold pinstriping and so I am going to do the top of the marble, I'm gonna do the bottom of the marble, and then I'm gonna do the very bottom of the bottle before I move on to doing my holographic glitter. So I'm just gonna put some music on while I do this and then I will start narrating again when I get to the point of doing the glitter.
I found this pretty quickly. This is my Prismatic Black by Color, um, by Glitter Makes It, not by Color, by Glitter Makes It. I am tongue twisted, tied, bleh. All right, here is my tacket. It's Aileen's tacket over and over. I keep it in this container. It has a little bit of water mixed in, not a lot. You can do it straight, you can do it 50-50, you can do whatever you want. So I'm just gonna come in with my tacket and I'm gonna go right up to this line. And I'm gonna try to keep it straight, but if you go over a little bit, don't worry, because you're gonna have that gold strip. So, and if you can hear my fan, I apologize. It is so hot right now. I had to put my fan on, which is not gonna do me really good when I start to glitter, but uh, I can't I can't anymore, I have to. All right, so just gonna go around and put this on up to the neck. You know, we don't want any on these threads. Don't put anything on the threads. Like I spray painted that by accident because I wasn't using my brain and I should have taped it off and I didn't. So make sure you tape that off. It's okay, but it's probably gonna peel like as as you use the bottle and as you like put the soap in and out, like when you're, you know, you run out and you unscrew it to refill it, it may peel off. So just be um, aware of that. So that's why, you know, it's better not to, to paint it at all. But so yeah, so if I was if I was doing this for a customer, I would definitely tape that off. Like I would I would actually take it off with probably acetone or try first with 91% um, alcohol to get it off. Because I'm pretty sure the acetone would like haze it up. I'm just making sure I get a nice good even coat on here. Some people like to do two coats of tacket. I only ever do one. I only do two coats if the first coat was too thin or too thin in an area and the, the glitter came off, because that can happen. So then I just go back in with a second coat, but usually I try to do a thick enough coat to where I only need one and not two. Um, so I'm gonna seal this up and I'm gonna go ahead and stick this in front of my fan and I'm gonna go wash my brush off and then I'm gonna be back so that I can glitter and tack tack at the top All of right, guys, so this is dry, and the reason why I know it's dry is because it is clear. So tack it goes on white, and then it dries clear. And so I am gonna do, I am gonna take my prismatic black, and I am going to sprinkle it on. And you can do tack it method with, you know, a non-holographic glitter, but it's not gonna have the same effect. So just, you know, just understand that it's it's not gonna give you that rainbow. Um, and you may just not like it uh, as much as if you were just leave it, as I call fluffy. So I'm just gonna make sure I've got nice good coverage. I'm gonna tap it off. Again, this is optional, you know, because really I was saying, you know, like easy peasy in the beginning, easy peasy, you know, just a vinyl covered soap dispenser, you know, real simple and easy to do, can get this done in a day, but I'm a little extra. So, all right, I am gonna rub this on. Make sure your tacket is nice and dry because if it's not, it's going to clump the glitter up and number one, you won't be able to reuse that glitter, but number two, it's not going to give you that um, that rainbow effect. So just make sure you just rub it in. You can use a glove finger. You can use your regular finger. You can use a silicone brush to do this. You know, whatever you feel comfortable with, there's no right or wrong. And so if you're new here, and this is like a first video of mine that you're seeing, um, I've done tack it several times on um, other things that you can watch, but I will show you the difference. So here's the area where I've tacked down. You can see that holographic. 
you know, along with this, but then on this side, I call it the fluffy side. So you don't get that rainbow effect. It's just this, you know, glittery, you know, really pretty glitter. Um, so I call this the fluffy and I call this the flat. All right, and you just keep rubbing that down. Now, I, you can reuse this glitter as long as it's not wet. So, um, it's because at this point, you know, what you're rubbing off is the excess. It doesn't really have, have glue on it. Some people, you know, definitely dump this as contaminated glitter into, you know, a, a different jar. It's up to you. As long as it's not wet and clumped up, I put it, you know, I put it right back in because you want to, you know, glitter can be expensive and, you know, you want to get, you want to get your money's worth out of it. So you want to use everything you can. So I am almost done with this. You know, and this, this glitter, you know, is a nice fine glitter. It flattens down really, really nicely. And you're going to not see a huge difference between, like, especially, like, when the epoxy is on, you know, between the top and the vinyl. I don't think you're going to see a huge difference. Um, and I'm going to, you know, I'm just going to brush off this neck with this. So this is a really good way to, you know, not struggle with vinyl. You know, if you have a holographic and you have a holographic glitter that, you know, is really, really similar, this is the way to get your, you know, to do it the easy way to get your curve on. All right. So that is done. Easy peasy. It's dry. Like, how cool is that? I love doing the Tacket method. Love, love, love the Tacket method. Okay. Okay. So, I'm going to put this aside, and now I can put my last strip on. I'm not going to epoxy it, and then put, I'm going to put it right on. Do you have to be careful, though, because if you're going to try to pull this up, you may pull your glitter up. So, you got to be kind of like ultra careful when you're doing this. So, I'm going to lay it more, you know, on the vinyl than I am on the glitter. So that if I have to pull it up, I'm not going to pull that glitter up. And I'm just going to do the same thing. I am going to roll this around. Making sure it's nice and even. this little itty bitty excess off. All right, I'm really happy with this. So, 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 um, now I am going to, actually, I am going to seal this with polycrylic first. And the reason I'm gonna seal this with polycrylic is because um, the epoxy is definitely going to want to repel on the holographic glitter because it's so shiny. It's like it won't grip onto it, um, and it will it will repel on this holographic vinyl as well. So I'm going to go ahead and polyacrylic this whole thing, and before I do my epoxy. So I uh, will be back when I'm set up at my Turner station. All right, guys. One more thing before I put the polyacrylic on. I decided I wanted to put hand soap on it. Um, so I did this up in my Cricut Design Space. The font I used is called Ash Burton. It's A-S-H-B-U-R-T-O-N. I have no idea where I got it from. Um, I usually get my fonts from either 1001 Fonts or um, Design Bundles has their design, has their font section. So I'm um, see I'm gonna see if I can look it up and link it if you like this font. I do. It's pretty and it's simple. So Alright, there we go. Alright, now I feel good with this. Now it now it's complete. 
All right, now I'm gonna set up. All right, you know what, let me add this in. I'm gonna show you how I set this up on my Turner arm. So I know that um, some people make attachments that screw on and screw onto your Turner arm. I don't have any of that stuff. I've not ordered it. I've not even had time to check it out. I know they make them. So, you know, I use what I've got on hand I make do. And so my Turner arms are half inch. And so this is obviously bigger. And um, there are different things that I use to um, make my Turner arms thicker. So one is this weather stripping. It's camper weather stripping that I got at Lowe's. I have this stuff that I ordered on Amazon. It's specifically like Turner related. And then I also have this other like weather stripping. This stuff is like really thick. This is when I have a big cup and I really need something thick to uh, fill in the spaces. So generally I, I stick with this. I use it a lot. It's, um, I like it because it's sticky and so it sticks to the, like it holds, it grips. It has, the cups grip to it really well. So that's what I use. And then, um, so I've, you know, already put a, a piece or two around. Um, I've got rubber bands on there, holding it on there. I've got my tape. So it's not like 100% snug. And um, I don't want it to be too snug. So, you know, I've got it kind of where I want it. I want it a little bit more snug, and so I actually am just gonna wrap a little bit more tape around here. Not too much, like I do like a little bit at a time. I know this is like, this is so like not professional, right? It's just making do with what I've got. All right, so that's better. So then what I'm gonna do is I am going to, and I'm out of my thick painter's tape, which I prefer to use when I'm doing this. So I'm gonna not go all the way down. But I am gonna go and I'm gonna cover these threads. And I'm gonna squeeze the tape on to my turner arm. And that's kind of that's like how I'm attaching it. The painter's tape that is longer is better for this, but I'm, I just ran out tonight, like literally just ran out tonight. So it's not going anywhere. It's gonna be, you know, this is, see, it's on there. I just prefer, you know, um, a little bit more attached to the turn arm. So that's how I do this because I don't have a bottle attachment. All right, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put another piece of painter tape around here because this is going to be the tape that I remove when I'm done epoxying. So I'm going to do this to protect this tape and my threads because like I said I didn't even want paint on my threads. Alright so I'm going to put that on. I'm going to have a piece. Make sure that's good. I'm gonna make sure I have a piece that's folded so I can easily grab it when it's turning to pull it off. All right, so that's how I attach it to my turner arm. So if you have a turner arm like this, this is how I do it and it works just fine. All right, I'm gonna set up over at my turner station and I'm gonna put some polycrylic on it. I'll show you how I do that. And then I think I'm gonna call it a night and I will be back tomorrow. All right, so this is ready for my polycrylic. I'm gonna clean it with 91% alcohol up to the glitter part. I'm gonna brush off any loose glitter and then I'm just gonna put on my polycrylic like you would put on your epoxy. I'm just gonna smooth it on, put it on my turner, get it all the way up to the glitter and even down at the bottom. And uh, then I'm gonna let this turn for an hour before I'm ready to put on my epoxy. And uh, that is it for that. It's like nice and easy peasy and it gives it a nice good coat so that the epoxy doesn't repel. All right, my polycrylic is nice and dry. Now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna put my epoxy on. And I am, this actually only took one coat. I put like a nice uh, thick coat on. I used Illumilite's uh, Quick Coat which, you know, is really nice because it dries in like, you know, four to six hours. And, you know, it's a nice, uh, good finish, uh, low, low odor. 
not a lot of um, bubbles so I just gave it like one nice good coat uh, all over the entire bottle including the bottom and then after I did that is when I took off my tape so that it didn't you know um, get epoxy to the bottle after I pulled my little piece of tape off I torched it to make sure to pop any bubbles and then I let it turn overnight All right, guys, I'm back with this and it is done, done in less than 24 hours. I'm really happy with the way this came out. It was so super simple and easy. And, you know, I recycled this soap bottle, you know, once the soap was gone, washed it out. And now it's beautiful and reusable. Just buy yourself some soap refill and here you go. So you can use your bathroom as a template for the colors and the styles and whatever you want to do. You know, and um, this one, you know, just with mostly vinyl on here was like boom, boom, boom. And then with the tacket method, uh, done in no time. So thank you all for watching as always. And please give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Please subscribe, leave a comment. I love to hear your feedback. Uh, go ahead and share it. And I will see you all next time. Bye.